know, we've been trying not to s just sit here in front of a camera and, and talk because we're not actors, we're normal guys and um, do get a little uncomfortable just sitting here talking in front of a camera. But uh, these particular hunts were on state land, so uh, we were too busy running and gunning and we didn't really have a, a lot of time to film our show or the hunt. So we decided to marry a little bit into this hunt. Uh, we start off this day we might on state land and um, we actually progressed to a different state land spot but you'll see these two birds come down they were hot to trot they skirted us never came in close enough for a shot unfortunately so um, once this particular hunt we figured was over we had another piece of state land we've been eyeballing for a while never scouted but just kind of looked birdie so we made our way up there So yeah, on to our new piece. Um, you'll see a little clip where we found a shed. It was a perfect area laying right in the middle of a deer trail. It's kind of cool. Um, we do find a few sheds around. We don't really look for them too much, but we do stumble across a few. But this particular this piece of state land is very mountainous. And you'll see we were about, uh, I think it's over 1,300 feet by the GPS altimeter. And um, that's where our hunt began right there. We did a few calls. And, Believe it or not, up in the mountains, the highest, some of the highest points in Connecticut, we got our return gobble. Claim right in the middle of this deer trail. How cool is that? We gotta find the other side, huh? First time hands on a nice little leaf point. Look how white that thing is. See that? Huh? It's a little guy, but he's got he's fucking perfect. Perfect for a two and a half year old. Yeah, a man, one and a half year old is gonna no, be. No, it might be a one and a half. Huh? It's gonna be a uh, gonna be a much better deer next year. Be an easy one to find the other half to if it's around. It's bright white. Pretty sweet. Cool. That was wild. Those two were down at the bottom of the thing, at the bottom of the ravine, and that guy is kind of here. But we're up in the uh, absolute top of a mountain. Top of a mountain. We had two coming in. Didn't even know there was two more coming behind us. We had three more on the other side of us. Jesus. Oh. Nats are brutal. Yeah, they're bad <laughs> up, up in the mountains. But uh, <coughs> what sucks is like this, the filming ain't as easy as 
you think you know no that no last second thing is always where but we're getting better trying to get better trying to get onto that kill shot's yeah. the hardest part you can do uh, yeah bottom line awesome bird beautiful beard probably nine inches mature tom he was with another one that was still below him there was two more coming up the back of the mountain um awesome awesome state land bird yeah. definitely a lot of work we and worked, a lot of hard hiking we worked for it so oh can't be happier um the coolest part for me is going to be watching mike carry this bird back to the truck because it's going to suck so that was a full day in the woods and that's how our hunt ended we went from um swampy piece of state land and some pines and whatnot up into the top of a mountain later in the after or later in the morning and um, got it done uh, we hunted hard all day and that was about i'd say about 10 30 or so it does pay off from time to time. We have a lot of state land hunts that really don't go our way, but this one did, so we were real happy about that. So check out our next video, uh, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Make sure to like it.